The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And uh, like that uh, service, uh, what is it, service now? No, no, it's that one uh, that cleans your house up after a tornado hit it. I'm trying to remember the name of it now. Anyway, they always say, like it never even happened. They got this house burnt down, about half burnt down. It's like it never even happened. Well, the last couple of days, kind of like it never even happened. Up 28 points. Uh, tap, tap, tap. Right on that 4,700 level of the S&P cash. Dow is up 88 after being down, I think, 300 earlier in the day. I think I saw that. Uh, the NASDAQ is uh, roaring back to life, 182. Uh, Russell 2000 up 20. As I said yesterday, I thought we would kind of had some lows. Probably we're going to find out in a day or two uh, who they blew up yesterday. Um, but uh, just just the the volume, especially in a lot of these bigger stocks, just made it look like if we are going to have the big flush, that it's not going to be. Uh, in the next uh, few days. Uh, I suspect uh, we'll see tomorrow, because tomorrow is Delta Neutral, what options look like. But I just think we're kind of in this little trading range for a while. I can see the case for being fairly bearish and actually bearish a little bit. Uh, I'm not uh, Pollyannishly bullish, but uh, I was pretty sure when they had Fed on the the uh, Fed uh, uh, Chairman Powell on the hot seat today that he wasn't gonna start acting nutty um, with uh, the uh, action after the day before. I always kind of think of Powell every time he comes to these things as uh, those old Western movies where they'd always have the gunslinger and he'd be shooting at the feet of the people and going, dance, dance, dance. Like apparently they had nothing better to do than uh, watch people dance badly. It'd be different if it was Fred Astaire or some uh, great uh, dancer or good looking woman or something, maybe. But uh, some broken down old uh, drunk always had to dance for the guy in the Western. Never understood that. Of course, I'm probably not a uh, drunk uh, cowboy uh, with about 10, 10 weeks of grime on them. Uh, not wanting to take a bath. That was the other thing. They were always dirty and filthy. But uh, I do digress. And that will probably go in the uh, record books right there uh, to win yet another year of awards for a digression at TFNN. But uh, as I said, uh, we're up here at the highs. Do I think that there's a whole lot? Is this just going to roll over? Well, I don't think so tomorrow uh, with Delta Neutral. Uh, frankly, there's still a ton of cash out here. The Fed's going to have to go and do a lot more to get rid of the uh, of the cash just floating around. Uh, inflation's still high. I saw some of the comments he made uh, during his uh, testimony, or actually read them. I didn't watch. It's just too slow. It's like watching a baseball game uh, that has uh, been purposely slowed down even more, or maybe a cricket game that lasts five days. <laughs> oh, boy. Who, uh, who watches a game that lasts five days? I don't know, but that's cricket for you. Anyway, uh, as we're looking at this, pretty much worked out uh, like I planned. We got a couple of good positions in the Tech Insider and a couple of good positions yesterday in the uh, Path of Least Resistance, and all of them are, I guess, looking okay now. 
Uh, got some stuff that I like. Some of the stuff's going to take a little longer to percolate. I always think of uh, those guys out there in the uh, on the uh, is it the History Channel? It used to be the History Channel. I haven't watched it in a while, uh, but they're always out crab fishing, and they got to go throw all their uh, going to throw all of their uh, traps out there with the fish in and get in, go uh, go away for three or four days, and then come back and see if there's anything in it. Well, we get to watch it kind of like in real time. And if there isn't a crab in there in the first five minutes, we tend to start looking at, looking south. But, yeah, I'm seeing even some of the stocks that had kind of blowout lows get back into the trading range. And would I chase them now? No. But uh, they kind of an interesting blowout of the last couple of days. Uh, give me a call, 877-927-6648. And uh, eh, what can you say? I uh, got a few e uh, uh, emails already. Oh, I forgot to do that so I can see what time it was. Um, how much of this recent rally can be attributed to the January weekly or expiration call buying forcing option market makers to buy stocks short term? I think almost none of it. Uh, really, tomorrow is is kind of it where they really start moving the market around. I don't think there was a lot of that. Um, as I said, kind of at the very beginning of the show, if I am going to say the way that the market acted is much like when any kind of time uh, that I've seen in the past where margin uh, rates, especially uh, for these big hedge funds and other folks, are reduced. A lot of these guys were at it 35, uh, 30 and 35 to 1. Uh, this uh, rally up to the top was no other uh, kind of thing. Um, everybody, you know, uh, it's not their money. And they're going to get fired if they don't make enough. So there's always this kind of uh, uh, ridiculous risk taking by some. And, you know, it's not their cash. And they're going to get canned. So, uh, well, daddy needs a new pair of shoes. They throw the dice. And that means that uh, they'll go after stocks like, you know, generally fairly decent stocks like Apple. And they're not hoping for a lot. They're just hoping that their massive amounts of margin allows them, you know, if it makes, you know, if Apple goes up five bucks, they make 30, uh, you know, at five to one or 10 to one or something like that. Uh, but the people standing behind them somewhere, i.e. read the big guys, the Morgan Stanleys, those guys, uh, that are uh, sitting back and watching this, they know where all the bodies are buried. And if you're going the wrong way, they are not going to let you out or, uh, easily. They're going to take every bit of cash you can, they can from you. So I'm not a big fan of thinking that, you know what, um, uh, serve pro, that's what it is. Like it never even happened. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, we always see the ads here down here. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it. I will return like Patton, Patton, like uh, MacArthur to the Philippines after this. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free! Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. We return. Uh, that was the uh, first one. We get to the second one. Uh, okay. Uh, James says uh, uh, yesterday in the uh, power trading hour, he said, if you're expecting the big downturn in this market, uh, what we had today was just an early warning. Can you elaborate if you uh, mean that a major bear market is coming, like 2000, 2009? This is a major event, and I really hope uh, you spend some more time in the show helping long-term investors. Well, the problem with being a long-term investor is, is uh, you get a 9-11. You get something that no one thinks um, or th knows about, and you get it anyway. Uh, the old saying is you get a uh, 100-year flood in the stock market every 20 years. You get a 50-year flood every, every five years. And that's the problem. And why I don't tend to be uh, somebody that, that uh, tries to forecast something incredibly far out in the future. I think I can do reasonably well for a couple of months. And that's all I need to do. Uh, probably one of the best um, things I ever heard was when I was learning uh, some machine learning uh, to, to try to apply it to the stock market. Uh, one of the great, uh, I'm going to call him the uh, godfather of machine learning, was a, a guy in uh, 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 Markham, Ontario. And the reason it, it smacks me so much is I used to go there, uh, our, our company used to go there for, for hiring folks. A uh, very good uh, college up there just outside of uh, Toronto. And uh, anyway, this guy spent about 10 years working on machine learning and not getting any, in fact, is maybe more than that. I think maybe more like 20 years. But it didn't really get uh, going until uh, later. Um, I think he made some breakthroughs in like 2009 and 10. And as we talked before, NVIDIA finally made something that would allow people to speed up the, the uh, path of uh, machine learning. Uh, but uh, he had this at the very end of his class, which I took. 
And he said, uh, you know what? Whether it's uh, computer technology or the future or anything else, he says, I have one word of advice. For, well, I have a some advice for you. It was more than a word. And that was, you should drive like you're always in fog. And he had a real technical version of this, but basically it comes down to when you're in fog, you think you can see a lot farther than you can. And the reality is that when you're in clearer air, you can see 10 miles. But when you're in fog, you think you can see a mile, and what you're really seeing is about a quarter of a mile. And it's, uh, I think I've got the, the uh, maybe even the recording of that. Maybe I'll find that. I haven't played it in a while. But I think that's the way you should trade. I don't think you should, I, you know, you can think of all the things that have happened, and they're going to happen. And the surprise is always going to be something out of left field that you never thought about. Uh, in programming, they always say you don't know what you don't know. Um, I just know that right now, based on history, things look in the way that they are, that as the Fed takes out cash, we're probably going to be headed lower. I don't know if something will break. There's a lot of difference between having a flat and the wheel falling off of your car. And I think a lot of people uh, just say that you've got a Tesla and it's going to die in a, uh, a fiery burning uh, crash that can't be put out for two hours and all they're going to find is ashes in you. You can have a fender bender in a Tesla. You can have a fender bender in the market. And going from the fender bender to the, uh, it's, uh, the apocalypse is... Uh, or a, or a huge out two-year crash is something different. And you never really know. I know when the market, or I've, I think I know, when the market can be extremely dangerous. And we talk about it from time to time. But the number one uh, feature of a market uh, that is dangerous is exactly what we had in Christmas, which is we got to Christmas, we got to the first of the year, and no one wanted to be short. There were no natural buyers on the way down. Those natural buyers came back, but that's why we have such huge swings. Generally, when everybody's incredibly bearish, when the market goes down five or 10 points, there's at least somebody there to start buying. Right now, or let me put it this way, uh, over the last couple of days, there wasn't anybody down there. There was nobody that was a natural buyer. Everybody was waiting for the tide to turn, and it just kept going lower and lower and lower. I think they call that a rolling auction where I'm from, and that's kind of what I thought. Cognitive illusions. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Everybody almost doing a little uh, version of telef telephone in the tiger's den here, which is you, you say one thing and someone thinks you th said something else. But anyway, uh, that's it. I drive and trade like I'm in fog. That is, I can see a little bit of farther in front of me, but instead of it being linear the way I, I see and how far I can see forward, I think that it like fog, it drops off exponentially, which is very different. But that's why there's so many 40-car pileups when it's uh, out there and it's foggy. So just think of that. Just drive like you're in fog, and generally you'll make it a long time. Uh, as we said uh, last week, uh, the old saying is for pilots is there are old pilots and there's bold pilots, but there are few old, bold pilots. So, uh, yeah. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Anyway, we'll be back. No, we won't. We're still here for another minute and a half. Um, let's do a little history. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1997, Telstar 401, a satellite for you people in Lutz, owned by the AT&T that transmitted computer data, phone calls, television programming, suddenly fails for no apparent reason. 
except everybody knew at the time what the reason was. AT&T attempts for over a week to reestablish contact, but ultimately it fails. Why AT&T never officially acknowledges the possibility, many scientists now believe, and I think they pretty much proved it, that a major solar storm may have contributed to the failure, failure of this satellite. Uh, since then, they've worked a, a lot on building the technology that goes into satellites. A lot of it's old because it works much better, but they also build it, not with silicon, but uh, gallium arsenic, which is much better for that kind of stuff. A lot of them have uh, gotten very good at arming them. It's been a long time since we lost a satellite to a solar storm. Still could happen, but uh, satellites are much better. We'll be back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. John in the Den is talking about uh, the rallies, uh, at least uh, the recoveries back to where these things fell, fell for uh, some of these... Uh, Companies like uh, Rio, BHP, and, and Valley, depending on, I called three different uh, places uh, for Vale, and they answered it and called the company three different names. So I don't think they even know how to pronounce their own name, but uh, I do digress. Uh, anyway, uh, when you're looking at the charts up here, 
Uh, probably going to 1575, as I said. Uh, uh, if one gap is good, two gaps is better. Uh, the problem is you also have a gap at 1175 with the double gap down there also. And that has kind of made an, a little island bottom down there. But uh, to me, it looks like a big trading range. Uh, you're going into a high on September 22nd at 53 million shares. The gap down on September 16th had 42 million shares. Today, you got uh, 22 million shares. So, yeah, could you get a little bit more move up here? Probably a lot of people short. Yes, but the, that's kind of... Uh, I suspect if you were long this thing, you bought the reversal uh, on the uh, island low down here on November 19th, uh, that I would have my sell in right now at 1575, because that's generally where these things give it all up. We'll see some of the other ones here. I haven't looked at them. But they do go back to those gaps so many times. Now, Rio Tinto. Uh, breaking through its gap, it had a little better volume here. Uh, to, to On the 16th of September, this had uh, 3.8 million shares. Uh, you had 5 million shares getting into that gap. On the 7th uh, to yesterday, you had 5 million shares. Today, a little less energy. My guess, though, is it's going to run into resistance right above. Uh, to, to the leg... Uh, on uh, Val or Valley or Vale, depending on where which office you call of V A L E, uh, didn't have a lot of energy up. It looked this one's a lot better, a lot about uh, the same on the way up as the way down. So just a little better look at there, at least on volume for this. Uh, to, 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 to take a look at BHP real quick. Uh, well, uh, you're pretty good about having all the charts look about the same. This one does not have a double gap. It's just got a much larger gap uh, up top. Um, this gap down the first time on the 17th of August did so with 11.3 million shares. Uh, the second gap down out here uh, was... Um, on the 18th of August, that had 8.7 million shares. You had a gap, another big gap back here that's been filled, though, on uh, the uh, 17th of September. Uh, that did go a little lower, went sideways for a while. It thoroughly filled that uh, gap, and it's headed back higher. And it pulled back a little bit, didn't do much yesterday. Uh I mean, you got more volume than the August 30th high, which is the last one you're going after. So it's a little better than it was. Uh, the energy is a little light between November 18th and the high a couple of days ago. But uh, you got nothing but really resistance above you. You got half that gap now. Um, you know, if we continue to move higher, could this thing drift into 68? Um, yeah. But I would be out of that uh, and make your head spin so quickly. So, yeah, a little bit more to the upside. But eh, are they really that great looking here? Uh, no, I think most of this move has been in. And if you're thinking about higher prices, you think the fundamental reason for it, then more than likely it's probably going to consolidate around here for a while before it goes higher. And that may take, you know, looking at this chart, it may take, a couple of months if everything stays fine. Uh, Pete asks, uh, as crude prices approach old highs today, you think this will force the Fed to be more aggressive to tame inflation? Uh, I don't think they look at crude that way at all. Um, everybody I know that's got half a brain knows uh, that the prices on crude are set by uh, the current uh, White House administration. Uh, they could drop to 45 uh, if they would let uh, $45 a barrel, maybe 48 bucks a barrel, uh, if you would let everybody have at it and go back to drill, baby, drill. So I don't think uh, the Fed is going to bother because uh, they just probably figure that the uh, White House would be more aggressive against a anti-carbon uh, 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 
carbon fuel uh, scenario. Just kind of that. But no, I I think when we look at inflation today, it was caused by one thing, and that was rapidly going after um, fuel, and that fed literally into everything in the nation. So if we're looking about inflation, it all goes away with this, but I don't think uh, that the uh, dogma of going after fossil fuels is going to change in the White House. I don't think they could. Uh, that is a religion at this point uh, to many, especially to many that give money to those folks. 877-927-6648. Uh, you can email me at path at tfnn.com. Okay. Uh, you know, the only thing that uh, someone asked me, what, did I see anything else in the testimony? The only other thing I could have wish I would have had somebody ask today, and I didn't see it, I read, skimmed through it fast, was, uh, uh, do you think uh, that someone should have warned you about uh, the inflation that you kept wanting, uh, that uh, be careful what you wish for? I would just, that would have been the one question I wanted to ask and see what his reaction was. You'll never get anybody to answer any real questions, but uh, that's it. A uh, question about the uh, IBB. Um, and what's going on with it? Um, well, it's getting rather testy in Congress as they uh, talk about what's going on. But there was another dump of uh, classified or near classified papers uh, about the uh, pandemic. And it certainly looks uh, like uh, there's a, a lot of blood on the hands of the people that are actually uh, pushing the vaccine. And, uh, you know, me saying it ain't going to change anything, but certainly the documentation is incredibly damning uh, that uh, a, uh, a non-elected bureaucrat went around uh, the law to make sure uh, and test uh, a, uh, a virus, to actually uh, improve the lethality of the virus, to see what they could learn from it, to escape, and we got five and a half million dead. And uh, eh, if the media is not interested in the story, it just kind of goes along. I think that that probably is going to branch out into some of these companies. Uh, that are at least somewhat uh, capable, culpable too. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. As we come back, as I said, I, you know, this is, uh, you at least got some lighter volume down here in the IBB, but I think a lot of people are worried about what's going forward uh, and the gravy train of uh, vaccines being sold to the government wholesale uh, changing. So we shall see, but it, 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 is it horrible? No. But well, should you seen a better move off the bottom? I think so. But uh, that's like many of these out here. Let's get to the big movers and shakers of the day. Uh, ALB, uh, of course, uh, big on uh, lithium. Uh, not taking it, but actually using it uh, and selling it to people for batteries. Big move here, but not a lot of volume, which is kind of weird. You want to watch that one on the end of the day to see how volume comes in. Uh, other big movers, AMD uh, did break through the previous low. As we said yesterday, it looked the weaker of the two between it and NVIDIA. The difference uh, today was uh, there was a lot of flack about, uh, from NVIDIA about them buying um, uh, Arms Holdings, the chip uh, designer from England. And it, it kind of popped back up, but I think both of them are kind of uh, in that whole semi space where things kind of got a little better over the last day. Uh, NVIDIA still looks better for the volume, I suspect, uh, and I'd pick that one over AMD at the moment, although both of them have a ton of shorts in them, and uh, you can see them moving faster. Uh, to two, now testing the high is Apache, APA. You, got, you almost got the volume, 7.7 .7 million shares right now going through the 8 million share high of November 8th. So you got to figure you're going to have 10 million by the end of the day. Uh, it has to hold 31.14, but uh, a nice candle and some decent volume. I probably would have liked to seen a little bit more, but uh, that's it. Aptic, a little gap down, a uh, little, little, little far outside, uh, a little, little off the plate here. For this one, uh, decent volume in it. I don't know what happened or what the news is on it. Dollar General, um, also a little bit of a reversal sign. Um, volume a little bit better than yesterday. It held up well uh, yesterday compared to today. Another one breaking out is uh, Halliburton. Uh, again, probably would like to see a little bit more volume, but it's going to be enough to at least beat the October 25th high. $26.75 with 9 million shares. You got 8.2 right now. So figure you're going to have 10, maybe 11 by the close. Doesn't look bad. And of course, uh, you know, is that going to be a long-term breakout? Well, I would like about 15 million shares, but 
It doesn't look bad. It, just not as good as I would like. Uh, Hess, another one in that energy space. Nice move higher. Volume's a little light as it goes through this gap down. Uh, this gap down happened uh, back on the 27th of October. 2.6 million shares. You got 1.6 now. Uh, IBM, another one in the movers and shakers, um, did gap down a little bit higher. Uh, I think uh, there were a lot of people out here, but this is what I'm talking about when we when you're looking at these double gaps, and they're very easy to see in the art of timing the trade charts. One of the reasons I made it this way. Uh, your big gap down on the 21st of. October happened on 31 million shares. You got back into that gap. You filled the gap with a wick, not with the uh, not with the candle part of this, but that's kind of how these things go. I always say uh, that my sell order is going to be in about midway into that middle part of the second gap out here. So I would have had an order in right there at 140.50, 140.75, something like that. Have to zoom in to get a little bit better, but that's pretty much it. You go back up with lighter volume, uh, the energy back off the uh, November 26 low wasn't all that great. Now you're pulling back. This is probably just in a bigger trading range until maybe they get some quantum computing going on in this thing, but uh, I do not know when that will be. Illumina, uh, strong like bull. Uh, decent volume going into pre two previous highs with 1.1, 1.5 million shares. You already have 2.6 million shares here today. Of course, they make uh, sequencing uh, machines for uh, DNA. Uh, Kroger, uh, back up to the previous highs. Didn't look good yesterday uh, in that it broke the previous high of 12 million with 10 million shares. Bit of a reversal out here today. Las Vegas Sands. Uh, a lot of people looking at this thinking, well, they're still full. COVID or no COVID, this uh, Las Vegas is doing well. Uh, a bigger problem is all these companies that own places over in China that are basically shut down. Uh, nice little pop here today. Volume's okay. Uh, not really breaking much of anything, though. <coughs> if you want to cough a little bit. We can going for Altria, uh, of course, the cigarette company. Uh, it went back into the previous high of $50.75. Uh, that goes back to March 26th of last year. Uh, you went into that yesterday with 13 million shares, so about 2 million light. Um, just a bigger trading range. I don't see a lot more in it than that. 877-927-6648. I'm waiting for your calls. Tim Ord will be here on Thursday, so make sure and get all your questions and get ready to uh, make get your phone calls in. If you have any questions specifically that you want to talk about, um, make sure and uh, email them to me early. I'll make sure that uh, he gets them and we can answer them. As I said, he's not one to answer questions about a stock five seconds after you give it to him. He takes some time to ruminate. So uh, let's give him that time. Just to give me an email at path at dfnn.com, and we'll have him look it up before he comes on. Uh, National Oil Well, Varco, NOV, symbol on this one, back up to the previous high that had 6.5 million shares. Today you got 2.3, 2.2 million shares. So a little weak, um, about 15% lighter on the move up. On the power law vector indicator number. Occidental Petroleum, a nice move today. Volume could be a little bit better, but we'll wait. Uh, it does have enough volume, though, as it goes into the candle of October 26th. That had 15.4 million shares. So you're going to be more than that. You're not quite into that candle, but you're close enough. Uh, looks good to me. Hey, what do we got? One more little segment. We'll be back. Get a couple of stocks in maybe before the end of the show as we uh, go to the break up 35% SP cash, like it almost never happened.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Hey, and look at uh, Intel for Roger. Um, you spiked the high on 60 million shares on February 5th, gave it up, came back a little bit. Yesterday, 50 million shares. Today, 27 million shares. That's going into the December 7th, a day that will live in infamy high of 91 million shares. Uh, other stocks of interest, uh, PayPal may have found a bottom. I would have liked the volume to be a little bit less, but... Pretty good uh, chart pattern out here. Uh, you did test the previous low on a horrible day yesterday. You did so uh, 20 million shares compared to yesterday's 15 million shares. Uh, I just like this light volume pullback all the way back down to the low. You got a reversal today. So, again, a lot of these things are probably going to try to make their way back up into their uh, the gaps above them. Uh, as this is no different than many of these others. Gap down with a lot of volume on the 9th of November, 63 million shares. But could you get into the lower part of that gap or fill it halfway? Yeah, I think you could. I'm just not exactly sure why PayPal is a thing anymore. At least I haven't heard anybody talk about it since Vimo. But it seems where. 
Uh, there's stocks of interest, a little bit of a reversal out here for Seagate today on the day, but it is below the uh, the uh, uh, three-day. Now, the big thing on it is it tested the November 12th high of uh, 7.8 million shares with 2.2 million shares on January 5th and is back into the trading range. So a little bit of uh, danger on that one. Uh, when uh, yeah, we'll get to that. As always, I shall return like MacArthur to the Philippines tomorrow, same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can. I'll be happy.